Let's hook our Bravia up to the internet. All Bravia internet video enabled TVs have a LAN port, which is the best way to connect. If you want to connect wirelessly, if it's Wi-Fi certified, you don't need to add anything. If it's Wi-Fi ready, you need to add this dongle. Once that's in place, we can go to our network setup and look at our network setup options. As I said before, wired LAN is the most reliable, the fastest, and the easiest. You just select auto, everything is right there, no passwords, nothing to really configure, you're ready to go. Looking at wireless, there's three ways of doing it. We're going to start with manual. You would use this if you're familiar with wireless connections. You've already set up a network. You know the name and the password. You can just scan. You'll see all the wireless access points that your TV's in range of. I'm going to pick this one medium. I'm going to enter the WPA key, which I know. So I do that using the keypad on the remote. And once I've entered that, I click on enter. I'm going to select auto. Very similar, save and connect. And now it will connect to the network. And after this point, every time I turn on the TV and want to do anything that has to do with the internet, it'll automatically connect. So now I'm connected. Let's look at a couple of the other ways we can do the network setup as well. The WPS pin gives you this pin code that you have to enter in your router. If you're wondering where that is, look at your router. It probably has instructions right on the bottom where you take your browser, you enter a, a number, again off the bottom, your password that's listed on the router, generally speaking, and you log in. This gives you access to actual settings in the router. We're going to find on here in our wireless settings, we're going to add a wireless device with WPS. This is a very easy way to go and there, there's two ways of doing it. So the first one is this pin, so we'll select auto here for WPS and we'll enter the pin number right there. We select it, we enter that pin number that we saw on the TV, the 15703682, hit start, hit OK on that and you'll be able to connect to the wireless network. The other option is to use the WPS button on your wireless router as well. So where is that? If you look on the side of your router somewhere around it'll be a button that you can select and you pick this other option, press the push button and click connect. So once you've pressed both of those, you've hit start, they will automatically link up together. They will create their own security between the two of them and you don't have to worry about entering a code or making up a password. So for wireless, you need a wireless router. You can use a wireless bridge instead of the uh, USB dongle if you'd like. That's a option you can do. You can get the very easy to use wireless dongle. But remember again, LAN is the way to go in terms of reliability and ease of use and just sheer speed. One of the things if you've got a cable modem, very easy to do, is actually split the cable, run one cable to the cable modem and one to your PVR, then hook up your internet right behind your TV. This allows you to get a wired connection to your TV and you get all the other functionality by moving your router instead of moving your TV or running a really long cord. So that's the three wireless ways to connect your Bravia to the internet. Get all the music, geotagging photos, and internet video on your Bravia TV.